English teacher Samuel Isaiah students are the orang asli, the indigenous people of Malaysia who live in the rainforest at the fringes of society. When Samuel arrived at the Sekolah Kebangsaan Runjung School in 2012, he found demotivated teachers, low attendance, and a pass rate of just 30% in English. Samuel believed he was put there for a reason and dedicated his teaching life to challenge the status quo and turn his school around. Samuel then planned and executed a successful national crowdfunding campaign to renovate the physical condition of his school classroom, which was falling apart to develop a safe and creative physical environment on a par with urban schools. Crucially, Samuel was able to provide the best technological tools, including laptops, LCD projectors, and tablets for every child to boost attendance as well as engage and accelerate learning for his students. Samuel introduced many innovations to inspire his students to dream big and crucially connect them to the outside world, including an email exchange project called Asli ePal, where they communicate in English with adult volunteers all over Malaysia and overseas. With further crowdfunding, he brought ukuleles for all his students, which they learned to play and now use to improve their English through songs. All these efforts and many more paid off. The school's average pass rate in English increased from 30% in 2012 to between 80% and 85% in 2015 till 2018. Samuel's efforts attract the attention of the Ministry of Education who asked him to induct multiple workshops nationwide in states and schools with indigenous populations. Samuel's efforts attract the attention of the Ministry of Education who asked him to conduct multiple workshops nationwide in states and schools with indigenous population. The Ministry also developed videos of Samuel's interventions to be scaled and replicated in the indigenous school as well as in urban and regular schools. Samuel's model of working with the grain of orang asli culture through group learning, being in touch with nature and the use of music and poetry, have been used to inspire teachers at indigenous schools in Malaysia to adapt and come up with interventions of their own, and to advocate for equity and equality for indigenous education.